What's happening, YouTube? I've seen a lot of people uh, doing videos, like Linus Tech Tips just did one here the other day about using folding at home to leverage the GPU in your system and or the CPU to do uh, like protein folding and so forth to uh, help cure diseases. And folding at home has been so inundated with different people looking to help with the, the COVID-19 coronavirus, uh, looking for a cure for that that they're not really giving out any jobs right now or it's very limited like they've got so many people set up to t to accept work that they aren't assigning out enough jobs there's not enough work to go around uh, so i looked for an alternative and i found this site that you see on the screen called boink it's from uh university of berkeley it says and uh, you can download a client from them that will allow you to basically do the same thing uh, as folding at home but you can choose uh, a bunch of different groups that are focusing on different things. I think folding at home has the same kind of stuff, but like I said, this is just an alternative to folding at home if you have tried that and are unable to get in uh, or they're not assigning out any jobs or you're getting like, you're sitting idle for a long time, this will give you an alternative to folding at home. So I'll give you, give me a second here and I'll show you how to set this up. What's up? <laughs> If you haven't already done so, please click the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. Thanks. All right, so first of all, once you navigate to the website, which is uh, boink.berkeley.edu, I will put a, a link to the URL in the uh, description section. But if you can't, you know, if you want, you can also just Google Boink and you will find this is the first possible thing. And you just download the client. And that's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go through that and download. I mean, you just download the client. It's an executable file and you tell it to install. And it should take only a few seconds to install it. But once you install it, you get the following. All right. Now, in my case, you can see I've already got some stuff set up. I have it on pause right now. But uh, to get yourself set up with work to do, you can pick, like I say, different groups. Now, the two groups that I'm part of, the one called the GPU Grid, which said that they are working on cures for various diseases. I believe they said to include COVID-19, but um, they were less specific about that. But this will leverage your GPU. And then Rosetta dot, or excuse me, Rosetta at home. Uh, I mean, you can see right here, I joined the team COVID-19. They specifically said on their page that they are dedicated to working on the cure for that right now. That will leverage your CPU. So you can do both uh with one program and that way you're not wasting uh you know part of your resources or your ability to, to work on it so uh to get added to a group or to get projects you go to tools click on add project and you're presented with this list and you can break it down by the types of things you're looking for like you've got earth science distributed sensing whatever that is uh multiple applications physical science but Anyways, the two groups like, that I mentioned, like I say, you've got GPU Grid, which is right here, and then you've got Rosetta. I mean, it's in alphabetical order, so uh, there's Rosetta at home. But add either one of those. I believe that they'll prompt you to create an account because I had to do that at some point where you make a username and password. So I think once you tell it what one you want to add, the next screen that will pop up, I'm not going to do it because I've already got it set up, but that's pretty straightforward. Like it'll pop up with a window asking you if you're an existing user, or if you want to create an account, so you say you want to create an account, and then you just create your username and password, whatever you want, and going forward in the future, I think, uh, like if you wanted to log into it from a different machine, because it, like it auto logs you back in the next time you load the program, but if you were to load up a different machine and want to use that uh, on the same account, you would need the username and password. So like I say, you'd add Rosetta at home and tell it to continue, you'd create an account, and then it will start sending you jobs from Rosetta at home, and it cancel out of the screen. But once you tell it that you want to do that, like I say, it'll start sending you those jobs, and then GPU Grid will let you use GPUs. Now, what you do after that is you go to Activity. Um, I don't know why, but it's like I always have to set all these to, to run always, use GPU always, uh, or in the case of Rosetta, it'll use the CPU. I don't, I don't know if you have to tell it that for this or not, but for the GPU Grid, I always have to tell it to use GPU always. And then you have uh, Enable Network Activity always, because it's got to be able to download the projects that it wants to work. So those are the options you need to set, and then it will start downloading. So I'll show you real quick that it works. Now, 
Okay, I was in the wrong tab. I forgot. You have to look at the tasks tab to see if you're actually working anything or not. So you can see uh, GPU grid is running. It says that there's uh, it's been running for 17. Well, I, I had it paused. So total time I've spent on that task is 17 and a half minutes. There's about three minutes left to go. My 2080 Ti is working on that pretty pretty effectively. And then you can see all these through here. It's utilizing each of my CPU cores to run a different task. So because I have 16 cores but 32 threads, if you count starting here, it should be a total of, uh, I believe it's 32 tasks that it can run concurrently, which is nice. So uh, that's pretty much how to get your tasks set up. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys how to do, uh, in case you have a multi-GPU system, which I do, uh, this system, this is my main desktop, so this one doesn't have multiple GPUs, but my second system, uh, I threw my 1650 in there with it. I, if you watch my channel, I did a, a video the other day showing an RTX Super 2070 from EVGA that I had put in that system. Well, I went ahead and pulled out my capture card and threw my secondary, uh, the GTX 1650 that I had been using the system back into it, and so now that PC has two GPUs. Uh, and I wasn't able for a while to get it to use both of them. It would only use one or the other. Um, and it always auto picks the better GPU that has more CUDA cores because that's what this one is leveraging is your CUDA cores. I wish they'd make one that could lever leverage tensor cores or RT cores, but currently I don't see any way to do that. Um, maybe I need to look into it further. And if I find out a way to do that, I'll let you guys know. But anyways, um, if you want to do more than one GPU, if you have a system that has SLI, they don't even have to be SLI, it just has to have more than one physical GPU in the system. Like I say, I've got a 2070 Super and a 1650 in there, those are clear, clearly not running an SLI, uh, but they still work. So if you want those to work together, uh, you navigate to the following folder, which is uh, your C drive, program data, and then boink. That's what the path looks like, C drive, program data, boink. And you look for a file, this is not actually an XML file right now. It's currently a, just a text file. I just made it before I started recording to show you guys what it looks like. But if you can't find that file in here, supposedly it's supposed to already be in here. I did not have one, and they said that that may be the case. So you have to make one. But you can make one with the text, like a, just a notepad, and then you uh, Google convert text file to XML file. There's like a little, I found one on Google that would just let me upload like a blank text file. It turned it into an XML file for me. Or you could just copy one of your existing XML files and then rename it to this and then change what's in it. So however you wanted to do that, uh, you can make yourself an XML file named CC underscore uh, CO comp. I don't think I spelled that right. Let me, uh, hold on, let me verify that real quick so I don't give you the wrong information. I think I just spelled config wrong. I think I, I, think I flubbed it. Yeah, I just I spelled it coin fig for some reason. Sorry. So it, yeah, it's cc underscore config dot xml, and then you you type the following into that uh, that file. So it's uh, arrow. Or I guess that's a was that a less than sign or a greater than sign? That's a less than sign. Use all underscore all underscore gpus close arrow one. And then, I mean, you can see it on the screen. I'll go ahead and put it in the uh, description section. So if you want to create this file, you can simply copy this and paste it into an XML file and use this for your own uh, purposes. But normally they said that um, if this file had existed, the CC config XML was in there, this is usually set to zero. Uh, zero and one, in this case, just being a binary value or a Boolean expression, meaning true or false. So if it's set to zero, it means it's false. If it's set to one, it means it's true. So we want to set it to one, and that will tell Boink that I want to use all the GPUs in my system that are uh, available. And the moment I did that, and I think I had to restart it, but once I did that, it uh, it started using them both immediately. Now, I will say the downside to doing this, um, if you wanted to call it a downside, is that, holy smokes, will it leverage your cards? They'll be running it pretty much maximum uh, the whole time, and they will run, I mean, depending on your cooling solution, they'll get hot. So that something to consider, and you're going to use a fair amount of power doing this, like your cards are going to be running maxed out, uh, your CPU will be getting utilized heavily, uh, either at 100% or close to 100% all the time, and so if you don't have a good cooling solution, that's a problem, and then just in general, your electric bill is going to go up because you're going to be running the crap out of it, like my electric bill this last month here was a bit higher than usual because I've been doing this. I just kind of figured that 
I'm lucky. Uh, my job allows me to continue to work from home during the this pandemic that we're experiencing. Uh, so my pay has not been you know interrupted. I'm still making my normal living. Uh, so it's not been a problem. If, if anything, actually, I'm saving money because I'm having to drive to work and some other factors that are actually saving me some money. So I figured a little higher electric bill to help try to cure this disease is, or not, I keep calling it a disease, it's a virus. Uh, to find a cure for the virus uh, is the least I could do. But anyways, that said, if you guys have any questions about how to set this up, let me know. I don't think I went through every little step as probably uh, in detail as I could have, but I think I pretty much covered it. So again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section and I will answer them. Or I can try to do a better video if you didn't think that this was uh, particularly useful. But once again, if you wanted to do folding at home and found that it wasn't working, Boink seems to be a good vault, uh, viable alternative and allows you to leverage both your CPU and multiple GPUs, uh, helping different groups, a uh, la your GPU grid or your Rosetta at home. And there were other groups on there that I didn't investigate. Maybe some other ones are also doing something useful that you might want to put your PC towards helping with. So thanks again for watching. Uh, please give a thumbs up to the video if you like this content. Uh, if you want to support the channel, leave a comment. Maybe subscribe, check me out, check out some of my other videos, maybe do the same thing on those. Appreciate your help, appreciate you watching. Everybody stay safe out there. Have a great one. Have a great one. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.